Katy Perry released our highly anticipated fifth studio album, Smile, and with the title and cover that alludes to being evocative, you would think that you're in for a ride, but the album falls a little flat and it's very safe. Even with her dressed up as a clown on the cover, it's still quite unamusing. Now obviously the clown cover is supposed to be symbolic for the forced smile she put on through her hard times, but even taking that into account, there's very few cuts that feel authentically celebratory. The album opens up with Never Really Over, her best song in recent years, and just goes downhill from there. I'm going to be honest, there's not one song from this album that actually stuck with me at all, besides Never Really Over, which I was already familiar with, so I had to go back and listen a few times. This album feels like Prism and Witness Rejects. She did say leading up to this album that her album would take inspiration from Teenage Dream and Prism, and when you take that into consideration, Almost every song on this album feels like a different variation of the self anthemic songs that she's become known for. Let me give you examples. Just in case you didn't know, Katie is the queen of self empowerment anthems. Firework, Rise, Roar, Daisies, Dark Horse, and Hey Hey Hey. Most of the songs I listed are endearing pop classics. Others are just a bit cheesy and bland. And that's the direction this album heads in. Teary Eyes is a house pop song that makes an attempt at being a dance floor anthem, and it's actually not bad, it just sounds a bit dated. Daisies is a solid pop tune with a pounding chorus, it's classic Katy Fair, just a little more forgettable. Resilient features a great vocal performance, but the lyrics just follow some pop cliches. I am resilient, born to be brilliant, you'll see me grow right through the cracks. It's what we've heard from Katie a million times. She really fails to reach depth within her music on this album. It's like she's pulling for it but never exactly gets it out of the ground. It's all very surface level. Not the End of the World is a take on the trendy trap trend, which Katie was actually one of the first pop stars to take on the trap sound. Probably the first pop star to have a huge mainstream song that was Trap with Dark Horse. Not the End of the World feels like a poor attempt to remake Dark Horse. The production almost covers up the non-substantive and filler lyrics. Smile the title track isn't bad, it's just very generic. Champagne Problems is a song where she celebrates her relationship. Although being one of the more solid cuts, it just didn't stick with me. Tucked and Only Love are probably the best album tracks that weren't singles, and she ends the album with What Makes a Woman, basically a sentimental moment in a celebration of her growth. The songs aren't necessarily bad, they're just extremely forgettable. She plays everything down to the production very safe, when at this point she has nothing to lose. Katie didn't appear to be chasing a hit leading up to this album, at least that's what she wants us to think, considering she went on a rant about fans who were too chart obsessed. So I don't understand why she didn't just go all out with this album. Maybe this is the album she wanted and was satisfied with, but something this safe also leads me to believe she was attempting to please general listeners. Katie is a pop icon, but I don't think this album contributes anything new to her discography. It's definitely a transitional period in her career where she fully dives into adult contemporary. Katie hasn't lost her campiness, it's still very prevalent in her image, but that same fire doesn't appear to be in her music anymore, and maybe she just doesn't care. Lyrically, she seems like she has finally reached her happiness and achieved her teenage dream and real life, and that's a great thing for her personally, but Smile is 100% my least favorite Katy Perry album. For a pop star who hasn't been shy about pushing boundaries or putting herself out there during her prime, it's almost a bit mind-blowing that she actually created this album. But then again, this sound has been something she's taken after for a long time. There's just not much progression. And it's not that the sound is the problem because she has pulled this off before. It's just that the album misses the mark. Even with Witness and its missteps, it was still a much more ambitious body of work than this. She seems set on not changing much artistically. This album leads more towards uneventful than bad. Nothing on this album is unlistenable. It's just not memorable, and that's the album's true downfall. I was looking forward to this album because some of the singles have been good, most notably Never Really Over, and I thought that she may lean into that sound a little bit more. But the album just feels like rehashed outtakes from her previous albums, but without that spark, which is shocking because she's in a totally different place in her life. You would expect progression, not regression. One of the most unforgettable pop stars who contributed so much to pop music over the past decade released her most forgettable record to date. Smile doesn't offer many reasons to, well, smile. 